Thick snow covers the forest floor, everything one colour, a beautiful winter wonderland, with deer joyfully prancing and playing with one another. Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. So today I am going to be making a really nice canvas art. You can sell this, you can use it as decor, it also makes a really nice Christmas gift and these are so inexpensive to make. You can get napkins in a lot of places like Dollar Tree, Poundland and the same for the canvases. Now you don't need to get really arty and fancy with this if you don't want to, you can just go ahead and simply stick down the napkin onto your canvas and you'll have a really nice sign that you created in literally two seconds but if you do that just make sure you remember to remove the inner layer of your napkin because it's going to be really thick, you want to work with it and it's nice and thin so that's what I did, I just removed the inner layer of my napkin sometimes you'll have one or two layers and now I am choosing to basically tear around the deer. I'm being really careful uh, because I don't want any of the background. I wanted to create my own background on the canvas. I'm going to be making this a mixed media piece. So I'm just going to be using lots of different things and layering it. I was really excited to do this project because I had a lot of new products I hadn't got to use. So I was happy to finally get started with them. Okay, so once you have removed your little piece from your napkin, if you haven't decided to keep it whole that is, you're going to take some Mud Purge, PVA works as well, and you're going to apply a little bit to the back of the napkin so that you can stick it onto your canvas, and then we're going to go on top of it with a layer of Mud Purge as well. When you're doing this make sure you don't apply too much glue because it's just going to kind of sit and make the napkin soggy and you also don't want it to tear because it's obviously very fragile. Now I'm taking some white acrylic gesso. You really don't need to do this. Like I said, I had some new products and I just really wanted to try it out. But basically it kind of just primes the canvas for everything that you're going to put on top. But I didn't feel like it was that necessary. So like I said, you can just skip this if you don't have gesso. So I went in and painted all of the areas that are white on the canvas but I also added a little bit of gesso on the napkin, the deer itself so that I can blend the two and make it come together as one. And gesso dries really quickly so I was able to just go and get my watercolour paint and start painting on top. And I'm using my watercolour paintbrush. This just holds water inside so you don't have to get like a paintbrush and keep putting it inside the water and mixing it with the paint. This you just go and take the paint and it just automatically adds the water to it because it's inside the pen. If you're choosing to add paint or colour to your canvas and you're a beginner I would suggest to stick with the colours that are on the napkin itself. So you can see my napkin has dark blue, light blue and white so that's the colours that I'm choosing. I'm starting with lighter shades of blue at the bottom of the canvas and then I'm working towards a darker blue. I also added in some black on the top of the canvas. I just wanted it to look like a midnight sky. When you're doing pieces like this, I'm telling you now, sometimes it can look really really awful and it actually tends to look like that until the end, so you just have to keep going. It's all about building layers. So to add those layers and to break up all of that blue, I decided to take some of this greenery that I got when I went foraging and I took my roller and added some green acrylic paint to it. Once it was covered entirely with paint, I then turned it around and simply stamped it on top of my canvas. I did two, so I had one on either side. There's no right or wrong with art, so that's what's really great about it. Just use what you have and get creative. Most importantly, have fun. I'm making use of a stamp I brought. It's just scripted font and I'm also using some black ink. Then I am adding it to the canvas. I'm just trying to fill all of that empty space and again adding those layers so that it becomes whole. You see how it's slowly coming together now and it's starting to look really good. And when you're stamping you don't always have to go in with the ink every single time. It's sometimes nice to have a lighter stamp so I think I added ink to it once or twice and then the rest of the time I just used whatever ink was on there so that the stamp and the font came out a lot lighter. 
Using stamps is a really quick and easy way to make something look amazing and they're really cheap, I get mine from China and I just get them off eBay. Next I went in with some Arteza products that I had, these are mica powders, some people say mica, mica, I don't know, and I added a blue colour and a white colour. These are really beautiful because they have a shimmer and like a natural shine to them. So I took a little bit and added it to my palm and then I took my paintbrush and just dabbed that in and then on the canvas I went in with the blue on the top of the canvas again just to highlight that midnight sky and also on the edges of the canvas and then I used white on all the other areas. Doing this made the piece look so much more magical and the white powder almost looked like fog or mist which was really nice because it's quite realistic. Next I am taking this white chalk pen and I'm using it so that we can bring the deer back like to highlight them and to bring them back to the focal and focus point. So I'm just going over both deer and outlining them. And then lastly I am taking some white acrylic paint, I mixed it in with some water so it's nice and runny and then I created a splash effect using my paintbrush. And that's it, as simple as that, my project is finished. Who would have known or believed that we did this using a napkin? You don't need lots of art supplies and expensive things to make something beautiful. I hope that this has inspired you. Thank you so much for watching. Take care and I'll see you in the next video.